What's up guys, today we are unboxing this 03, wait sorry, not this one, 03 Bucks Dust Jacket. It was sent to me by the company to go ahead and review and check out. So that's exactly what we're going ahead and doing. Uh, I actually took out my original OG Harry Potter books, the ones that are all highlighted inside, half bitten by my dog, you name it. It's been through hell and back and we're gonna go ahead and Try these on, see if they fit, see how awesome they look, check out the front, back covers, everything. So without further ado, hit the intro and let's just start this video. You're a wizard, Harry. What's up guys, my name is Johnny, I go by The Collecting Wizard and today we are unboxing this 03 Dust Jackets, um, specifically for the US Harry Potter series hardcover edition. Let's go ahead and just try them out um, and see if they fit. These are US, oh, sorry. These are the US uh, Harry Potter series books and they are hardcovers. You have to specifically get the US edition hardcovers for these to actually fit in your, um, in your collection and on the books themselves. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and start opening. Actually, before I open these, I actually need to take these out. These are the original ones. These are actually my personal ones, the ones that I highlighted all inside. Oh my goodness. It's a lot of bends all over the place because I wanted to save my spot in the book. And this one in particular is actually bitten off. Got a lot of pieces bitten off by my dog when he was little. But yeah, let's just go ahead and start taking these out. Here we have the Prisoner of Azkaban. Actually, I should take out the Chamber of Secrets first so that way I can go in order. If you guys have never seen this phenomenon, um, dust jackets, it's very common that dust jackets wear out um, since they are the first protection of your book. And typically when they wear out, you're just left with a solid book empty um, so actually I'm gonna go ahead and just try these three first and see how they look oh so it was very very easy to take out <gasps> it's a sticker I got a sticker I am going to put this in my laptop the one that I actually edit all my videos with I'm gonna cherish this very cute it's a uh, Hogwarts eh, I'll put it over here all right so the moment we have come to see. Where is my knife? Oh, got it. Alrighty. Oh, are they all opened up? Okay, so this here says step one watch this video. And you just, you know, you use your phone, go to the cameras, and it'll pop up. Tag us on your Instagram pictures at 03 books. Number three, we have extra Harry Potter dust covers available to purchase. So tell your friends and family. And you're able to even scan to go ahead and give a review on their Facebook page. This is gonna be my review. So without further ado, I am so excited. And for future reference, um, I'm gonna put my original cover is back on here and I'm probably gonna buy another set of seven books and then put these dust covers on because these are my original covers and I don't want to you know get them lost anywhere oh my okay so yeah this is one of those videos that I'm definitely gonna have to go ahead and bring out the other camera and show you guys up close footage of all of these really cool designs okay so okay part of the sorcerer stone Actually, let me just put it onto the book. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to go ahead and get another set of books because these are just gorgeous. Okay, so here's the first one. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. You have Harry grabbing a, an acceptance letter with Hedwig to his right. And you have the Sorcerer's Stone, really cool font here. This Harry Potter font on the front reminds me of the German edition of the Harry Potter books and in the back it has Hogwarts at night you know when the students are going into a Hogwarts you have a, a unicorn over here and this is my favorite part Harry Potter has a number one has a sorcerer's stone of course and it says Harry Potter 
and the Sorcerer's Stone, JK Rowling. So, really cool. And if you go ahead and check inside, there's a bunch of frames with people inside them. And I believe those are the talking pictures. And let me see the other side. Yes, the same thing on the other side. Illustrator is Evangina Platonova. Redesigned cover by O3 Books. All rights reserved. Okay, so Sorcerer Stone it is. I want to go ahead and actually hold them like tight there so that way they can get a good form. And number two, where's number two? Here's number two. Ooh, green. You guys know how much I love green. And on the inside, again, is a bunch of frames with people on them. Here we have Hermione in the front doing her little polyjuice potion that kind of backfired if you remember the, the movies and the books. Um, again, same font. Really cool design in the front, in the, in the bottom though. It has the basilisk, I want to say, with Chamber of Secrets and the Gryffindor sword. And in the back it is Hogwarts once again, but this time with spiders on the bottom. And the spine of the book says number two, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, JK Rowling. With the same design that the front cover has. Damn, now I really don't want to put the covers back on. Whew, these look really, really nice. And I don't I don't want to go ahead and put the covers back on. I'll actually keep them right here. I'll show you guys the whole thing later on with all of them, you know, right next to each other. But for right now, let's just keep going with number three, the Prisoner of Azkaban. And of course, I already saw all the covers, so I already know which one's my favorite. I'll go ahead and tell you guys my favorite in a little bit when we get there. And once again, in the inside, same frames, same people. And again, in the back, it is Hogwarts, but this time with some Dementors and even Buckbeak in the back. In the front cover, however, you have Sirius Black. You have a cute little cat over here, a Time Turner. The Prophecy Orb over here and Prisoner of Azkaban with the Black Wet Dog, which is Sirius Black. Number four, Goblet of Fire. This one's a bigger book. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wrong book. Why the heck? It says Goblet of Fire and it's not the Goblet of Fire, it's Deathly Hollows. Oh my goodness. So the cover was right, but for the wrong book. I don't even know how the heck the cover fit. The inside is once again the same frames with the same people. The back, however, is again Hogwarts, but it is snowing and it does have the death mark on the top, um, which signals to all the Death Eaters. Um, and some Yule Ball dancers in the back. In the front, however, you have Mad Eye Moody with Harry Potter's Triwizard Ticket, the Triwizard Cup, the Golden Egg, and the Goblet of Fire. And course in the spine you have the same thing you have the cover art of the bottom where it says Goblet of Fire but you have it up here on the spine uh, which is the Goblet of Fire of course and JK Rowling's name number four Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire all right now we are jumping on to number five which is the Order of the Phoenix this one is typically blue this is this is the one that typically the dust cover is really blue but they went ahead and switched it over to brown for this 03 book cover. I've done this already so many times uh, with different cover arts, um, with different dust jackets. This one, the same thing. Um, typically, you know, you already know where to bend. You, but basically for me, how I start is I start from the front cover. This one has the back with a Thessaril, well, two Thessarils running around. Um, you have obviously the Order of the Phoenix, or I believe this is the Order of the Phoenix, just the students practicing. I want to say it gives me that vibe of the students practicing. Um, here you have Luna Lovegood in the front cover with Dumbledore's army. Um, you have the Prophecy Orb, a D8 token, and a Phoenix on the back of the Order of the Phoenix banners. And in the back you have the Hogwarts again but with Thessaril's running around and Dumbledore's army in the bottom. And on the spine you have Harry Potter with a phoenix and the Order of the Phoenix 
with JK Rowling's name on the bottom. We have two more, right? Yes, two more. This is Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. We are almost to the one that I like. And of course, if we're almost there and we're already on number six, chances are that it's number seven, the one that I like the most. And I'll tell you guys why, and I'll actually show you why it's my favorite. All right, this one is number six. This is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. You have Dumbledore, you have the Pensive, Advanced Potion Making Journal, um, Felix Felicis Liquid Luck, and you have a half-eaten apple with Half-Blood Prince with the Gaunt Ring. In the back, you have Hogwarts, probably my favorite Hogwarts one so far. Probably because I really liked the Order of the Phoenix one as well, uh, the illustration at least. Um, here you have Hogwarts with the death mark on the back, um, and you have all of you know, um, basically all of Hogwarts um, shining their their wand up to the sky because that's when Dumbledore died. Um, in the spine, however, you have Harry Potter, Gaunt Ring, and the Half Blood Prince. Now this one, so. I don't want to say it's my favorite because I really like all of them to be honest and I like how unified they really all are. I like how colorful they are because that's my number one thing is I really like the colors to really pop and they definitely hit that mark here. But this one has a really cool picture of Voldemort. Alright so here you have Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. You have Voldemort on the front cover, smack down in the middle. I really like that one. You have Helga Hufflepuff's cup. You have Rowena Ravenclaw's diadem. You have the tent. You have the Deathly Hollows right here. And I believe this is Snape's Patronus. Now, on the back you have a very destroyed Hogwarts with a lot of Death Eaters in the back, which is really, really cool. I really like that touch. And in the spine you have the Patronus and the Deathly Hollows, JK Rowling, number seven. And that is all of them. Now I'm gonna show you guys what they look like together because phew, these spine, at least, look really, really cool together. Hopefully I don't drop all of these. Oh, okay, I got them. Check this out. Look how colorful they are. Oh my goodness. I don't know what to even do with it. I really want to just leave them like this, but I also don't want to. I want to keep my original seven as original as possible. I'll probably just buy another set and put all of these covers on them because on offer up, you're able to just buy the sets for 20, 25, maybe 40, 50 dollars at most, and it's all of them. So that's really cool. And that's what I actually did with the nerdy ink covers. You can see some of them right here, right over here. Um, but that's what I did with the nerdy ink cover. That's probably what I'm gonna do with these O3 covers. I really like the different variety of colors and they're definitely gonna pop in anyone's collection. So if you guys wanna go ahead and check these out and you wanna go ahead and buy them, definitely go ahead and do so at the o3books.com or just go directly to their Instagram and there'll more than surely be a link there. Um, and they're the O3 books. They're at the O3 books on Instagram and on Facebook as well. So that's gonna be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, smash that like button down below. And if you guys liked a specific cover, comment down below which one's your favorite. But that's gonna be a wrap. If you guys are new here, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below because again, I am Johnny. I go by The Collecting Wizard and I talk about everything, Harry Potter and theme park related content on a daily basis. So if you guys love all of that, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. Without further ado, I love you guys and I'm out of here.